we would proceed uh, to the lecture of His uh, Imperial and Royal Highness uh, Andreas Salvator von Habsburg. Θα προχωρήσουμε με την ομιλία της αυτού αυτοκρατορικής και βασιλικής υψηλότητος του Ανδρέα Σαλβατόρ των Αψβούργων. Ε, ας μου επιτραπεί να πω δυο λόγια. Ανήκει στην αυτοκρατορική οικογένεια της, των Αψβούργων της Αυστρο-Ουγγαρίας. Ε, έχει πολύ μεγάλη δράση στα κοινωνικά και καλλιτεχνικά δρόμενα τόσο της χώρας του όσο και του εξωτερικού. Και μια λεπτομέρεια ότι είναι δυσέγγονος του αυτοκράτορος Φραγκίσκου Ιωσήφ και της αυτοκράτηρας Ελισάβε, της γνωστής σε όλους μας ως Σίση. I have here five pages of well-constructed words with a very clear uh, message for you. Έχω λοιπόν συντάξει πέντε σελίδες με ένα μήνυμα για σας. But I don't think I have the time to expose that. No, you will have the patience to listen. Αλλά ίσως δεν έχετε But I would like to do it different. I start with the end. I would thank the organizer of this meeting to give us the chance to express our knowledge through our thoughts, our knowledge. Those of us who were outside of the center, but we can move the world just like Archimedes did before his circles were destroyed by the powerful primitive. I will go back and use the meanings of the old Greek metaphorist was where the people spoke to each other. Metropolis is the place Metropolis where the people, the consumption of the people, wanted the world advance. There can be a man who is very knowledgeable, but to, to, does not put his knowledge to advance to society. I don't know if I say the right thing, but in the Greeks, it was a man, he was an idiot. The clock shows that times advance. Like Archimedes, with the is a mention of found in Antikyara, Antikari, which was a device with eccentric movement. I will here on a small drawing. It's we ha have the problem. We get our sources out of the mass media. We have to go out of the center and find a way to make innovation. I think a very similar thought as the recessor of mine. At the present, we have 6,000 languages. And the year 2100 will be left around 90 languages. And you know that the language is formed by the feelings and the surroundings. So when we only have 90 languages, it's a loss of culture. It's a loss of knowledge. Is there some force behind that we lose this culture, this knowledge? And you know that the amazing thing of us all that the brain sends our feelings to the heart and the heart sends the instruction to the voice that we, so we can understand each other. 
very important gift of God. It's not that the brain tells us what she says, because it filters first through the heart. But how we reach that we speak one language? By occupation, by trust, by law, by enforcement, by occupation, like the Romans did in Romania, like the Spanish and Portuguese in South America, or like the English language now today. But look, let us look why English is so important. Finance is in English. Internet is English. Air traffic control is in English. Music industry is in English. And even diplomacy is English. So we see that all the modern innovation are done in English. We as Europeans are rather, rather happy. We should be rather happy. Because if we look at our bank notes, it's written in Greek, in Latin land letters. And since Bulgaria joined the European Union, we have it also in Cyrillic. So we are much more knowledgeable than the universal currency, the dollar. It has only one language and only written in Latin. If we nowadays, we are people of the world, we know borders. But my border is my writing. I can, cannot read what you write in Greek. I cannot read what the Japanese write on his computer, neither an Arab. So that's our new borders. And those we have to overcome. So how we can do that? There's only one meaning by it. The knowledge which has been transmitted from the parents to the child. There you learn feelings. In a country where 37% of children are born out of wedlock, very difficult to maintain a social order. We are bound to refine our institution. We have democracy, but we should improve it. Democracy depends on period selection. And what happens? Austria, Spain, six months without government, shouldn't be the, above the parliament an entity which assure us and to our children a stability? That's the question. Our children does not need sensation nor accident because they need a stable environment so they can grow and develop knowledge. And this in Europe we have at the moment. And I would like, not with the Heliopolis, but with the metropolis where we speak among each other, and let us refine our system. Republic, the rule of law must provide. But the internal struggles between 
a rich man who gets a lot of money for his uh, campaign, or a selection between a not so gifted man and a very handsome man or woman. There will absence decide and not the feeling. Those are more or less the ideas I wanted to say in those five pages. But I also want to tell you a little bit about what makes that the Habsburg have been in power for many, so many years. All you know, Habsburg was on the throne of the Roman Empire, uh, Holy Roman Empire. Now he was elected. But what did this family before? Well, this family did following. There was the god Kairos, bold on the back and with little hair on the front. The god of the moment. And they took it and they said the following. Contracts are written in Latin by the church. But nobody understands what's written in Latin. So the Habsburg decided they will make contracts in vernacular language. And this was their success. What was needed that the new instrument were accepted? Trust. What is the problem of nowadays? We do not trust our institution anymore. We have to gain trust in each other. And how we do that? I'm very much advanced, but we have blockchain, a unique form of making transaction. And in this transaction we make, taxes can be collected immediately. There I see the future of us, that each human being on this world willing to help the other can make her own booking, bookkeeping and get paid for his effort. It's a little bit too philosophical up and now. But just like I said you before, where you have your time in the pockets or your in hand, there will come a new future when arms are not necessary. It's only the decision to learn how to use those new devices. I know there's a long time where we have people who are neither in the past nor in the present. But I can assure you that every man who is a refugee on this world, he travels with a smartphone. And this is our currency and our way of communication. Thank you for this floor. I applaud your braveness to let speak people who are not depending on an obsolete economic system. Thank you. Θα ήθελα να ευχαριστήσω τον υψηλότατο, τον κύριο Ανδρέα Σαλβατόρ των Αψφούργων.